Yeah, so my name is Miguel Faria Castro, and I'm an economist at the research division of the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis. So you're a fairly young researcher. Um, how do you feel the, the world of research is, is accommodating to new people? Do you feel like they receive them well? There's some resistance? Uh, no, I think, I, think, I think it's welcoming, yeah. Uh, I think that if people, if people realize that you are interested and you, you're productive, um, they, they will respect you, yeah. I, I do think that academia tends to be... Um, pe people outside of academia might have a different impression, but academia tends to be very meritocratic in that respect. So regardless of your... Obviously, age and status matter. But I feel that they matter less than, than in other professions. So uh, if you say th if you say and write things that make sense, people will listen to you. It, it's obviously it's harder to make to, to make your voice heard if you're a young person with no established credentials. But uh, I think I think that's part of, of the process. It's just because uh, th there's so many people writing so many papers that um, you'll you'll naturally tend to focus on the stuff that's written by people that you already know. They, they know what they're talking about. So it's just like a way to filter information, I guess. Were you always attracted to your macro models and structure, or were you oscillating between several subject matters? Uh, I was oscillating a little bit. So I've always been more interested in macro than in micro. Uh, and I've always been, I, I, guess, I guess this stems from my earlier interest in, in history and politics. I've always been very interested in both fiscal and monetary policy. And um, my research, especially in the early stage of the PhD, I kind of uh, flirted with some other fields. <laughs> but eventually, I, I, I end up yeah. coming back to fiscal and monetary policy. And actually, right now, I, I end up working at a central bank, yeah. which is kind of... So that's another thing that kind of motivated me to do a PhD. I was uh, being interested in policy in general. I always thought, well, it would be really cool to work at a central bank. But then when I go see what kind of jobs are there at central banks, the people who are doing the interesting stuff, you need a PhD for that. So that was another motivation to, to do a PhD. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, like if you actually look at any like ec real economics jobs, everyone needs to have a PhD, otherwise... Yeah, pretty much. Exactly. Exactly. So that, 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 was, that was definitely another motivation to do it. And why were you attracted to this until like, did you want to make like, was it more of an impact thing? Like, I want to influence the economy or do you want to have insider information and really study in depth? No, I, I, it's it's more the first one. It's um, I feel that it's the um, so I really like research, and at the central bank I get a lot of resources of resources to research, and at the same time I can feel I have a more direct impact on policy. Not that I have in practice, but uh, you actually uh, all all the policy work is interesting because it's very related to my research, and it does make you feel that uh, you're doing something that has a more direct impact on people's lives. Had an impact in the world? <laughs> uh, I would say I would say very marginally, very marginally. Also, also I just started at a central yeah. bank, so. Yeah, that's the cool thing about working at an institution. Like you can actually see things moving eventually. Yeah, and I think so. I think I think I really have an awesome job because it's pretty much like being a professor. Just so most of my time is actually spent on doing my own research. It's just that a professor at a research university will be doing something like 80% research, 20% teaching. Instead of the teaching, I just do policy. Yeah. And uh, I really like teaching, actually, and that's something that I kind of miss. But I, I also think that the policy stuff is really cool. Regarding research in general, do you find like the more research you do, does it get easier? Uh, I guess so, just because I think that... So I see research as a very, as a very cumulative process. So you're really... You're really building on a lot of on a large body of work that both you and a lot of other very smart people have contributed to. So the more you do, so you're working on a certain topic, and as you work on that topic, you have a lot you have a lot of other ideas that are going to be related to that topic. So in that sense, I think it probably gets easier as time goes by. Mm -hmm. Also. You kind of like, at least I felt that during the PhD, you start like narrowing down what you're really interested in, and you start kind of like building a research agenda around that. So you start like, at the end, at the end of the PhD, you'll, you, you're 
you will probably be extremely focused on a very narrow topic, but you'll be a, you'll be you'll be very specialized for the good and for the bad, in the sense that you'll know all the all the relevant literature on that topic, and you'll you'll really have a good feel for which are the important questions in that topic. So that also helps, like in directing your research to towards things that matter and towards things that people care about. Yeah.